and good day our topic for today is about conditional statements so what do you mean by conditional statements so from the word condition dapat na mga conditions ang atong mga gam on nga program so if mag condition ta mag compare ta og one ay two or more conditions so this is our content flow uh, first one is we're going to discuss what is conditional statements then the relational operators i know you're familiar with that already the if statements if else and if else if else statements okay now so what do we mean by conditional statements so it allows a program to take action based on the given condition and it makes our program smarter so meaning we're going to compare um, a condition for example if imohong grade is greater than or equal to 75 which means you are passed so if mag input kog 75 so ang akong grado nga mo out ay so ang akong program ang yang output is you are passed if less the second condition is if less than or equal to 75 ang grade nga aton gi input then the output is what you are failed so that's the example of conditional statement so it compares two values so that our program can decide what action should be taken now we have here the relational operators i know you're familiar with this Kaan. This symbols so equals equals in programming kaling dua ka equals which means equal to okay armo kalibo na kung usara ni ka equal sa java meaning ana is nag assign rata og value okay so assignment ng usa ka equal if dua ka equal so which means uh, the value of x is the same value of y ingon ana kung mausa ka equal the va x the value of x is assigned to unsa nga variable or something ana so lahi nang dua ka equals o usa ka equal again if we say dua ka equal is equal to but if we say usa ka equal it's assigned to okay and we have here not equal so if you say not equal so the exclamatory uh, the exclamatory point is not which means not this one is equal so not equal meaning x is not equal to y then we have very less than and we have very the less than or equal to so x is less than or equal to x is less than y and then we have where the symbol for greater than and greater than or equal to I know you're familiar with this. Pero kani exclamatory point sa programming not na siya. Okay. So, next is the if statement. So, it it handles one conditional expression. So, it's either does something or nothing. Mani ang if statement ha. So, if you say if, usara iya hong conditional nga expression but yang output is it's either na a or wala. Mona if statement. For example, I have here the syntax. So if matag tag condition, then iyahong i do ni nga uh, expression. So for example, if grade is greater or equal to 75, so Atong iprint diri, you are passed because 75 greater than 75 is passed. So, yeah, we do, some, uh, do something here is how to output the condition. So, I guess we have example age there, diri. So, if the age is greater or equal to 18, so which means you are legal. Okay, so if kadri kay greater or equal to my gibutang. So, it's 18 above. So, which means you are legal. If wala equal to, if we say age is greater 18, like wala ning equal, ang mahitabo, if mo, if 18 akong i-enter, na number, 
wala siya ay mahi, wala siya ay mabuhat like di niya ni maprint because ang atong statement is greater 18 so sa may greater sa 18 so we have 19, 20, di ba? pero kung matawag na to equal greater equal to 18 so 18 is included okay? so that's the difference with greater than and equal to or greater than alone here is Sarah iyong condition di ba? di ba it's you have to do something or nothing di ba? yung anak ng if nga statement so ayaw yung kalimot that if statement can do something or nothing so we have here the age is greater or equal to 18 and then iyang iprint nga you are legal if the condition is true iyan yung i-execute but if the condition is false um, as you can see wala tayo laing gihatag nga code blocks diba usara diba kani raman diba then nothing wala yung mahitabo wala siya yung mabuo wala yung output or something like that so for example here this one let's go to our application okay by the way this one kaning dua ka slash comment din na siya ha so for example or ni insert i insert Hello world. So if I can run, ani ba hello world? But if I come to do a slash, meaning ni Gracia, which means comment Gracia. Okay, so if mo run ko, wala, wala ra. Kaya wala mo ko gibutang nga something din nga code. Naman unta to, pero akong i-convert into comment. So, what do you mean by comment? Just a, a note from your uh, code or a description of your code. Para in kaso malibog ka, then like you want to know what does this section can do or what this code can do. If ganun ka na, I note nga, ah, for looping ni siya, ah, for enter user ni siya. Then you have to put comment, but use this double slash for the single line nga comment but if you want multiple like something here I'm gonna copy this one again paste na put na ako dari na iharang i-insert nga topic so what if kanin yung tulad rito na ako ni siya gamon o comment so what to do is I'm going to use the multi-line nga comment slash and then star diba and then star star and then star then so same na japan ok pero medyo kalamitan dyo dari kay Pag mag multi line, mas nice mag ang dua ka slash kay Dorit Sura. Diba? Dua ka slash. Ingan ana. Dorit Sura. So, mostly is dua ka slash man dun ang common ginagamit. Okay, so let's start with if nga statement. Still remember with boolean, diba? Example na ako ng boolean ha. Katong boolean is tall. So, pwede na to siya magamit boolean. For example, is tall pero false. So, unsaon siya pag create o kaan using conditional if else na condition. So, we have to type if and then open and close parenthesis ay nagkalinta and then iyong bracket. Kanisulod sa bracket is where ang ang, ang output niya sa atoong gigama nga condition. So, for example, Ang, gi, ang atong variable name here is is tallman, di ba? So, ato lang kopyahon. Okay. And then, atong iprint na you or tall. Okay. So, atong ibutang dali is false man siya. <coughs> di ba? So, in, meaning, if false, ang sa may may tabo, wala eh. Wala siya, wala siya ipagawas nga output. Meaning mo, gawas ni siya if true ni siya nga condition. Nga, false man. So, if ato ni iran, wala. Diba? Kapag mantay, gihatag nga laing condition. 
kaniraman usa. So, if this condition is true, then iyon ang i-execute. So, I'm gonna convert this one into true. Sorry. That one, small letter. True. So, if ako niya siya i-run, so you are told because this condition is true, so iyon ang i-execute. If this condition is false, wala siya i-execute. That is if statement. So, what if I'm going to use the kuan? Katong ganin ha? The age. This one. The age is 18. So, what if ka na? So, what to do is if age man. So, age is greater or equal to 18. Nya, ang ato ang name sa variable, variable na ito is age. So, kaning is to, lato ni siyang ilisan of age. Diba? Pero age is not a boolean. So, we have to change this one to, ang data type niya is what? Integer. And then, we're gonna put a kuan, value. Diba? True is not an integer. Diba? It's a boolean. So, let's say 8, um, Let's say 22. Okay. So, int age equals 22. 22 money at ang variable. And then, if the variable is greater equal to 18, then you are you are legal. You are legal. Legal. Legal age. Something like that. So, this one. Um, if the age is greater or equal to 18, if true ni siya nga statement, then iyan ang i-print. Since atong give butang ring of value is 22. But does 22 is greater or equal to 18? It's true. So, if atong ring i-run, then you are legal. Okay? But, if I'm going to change the one, this one into 12, so, does you if here, does 12 is greater or, or equal to 18? Diba, dili? Mas gamay man ang 12. So, ang samay may tabo, dili niya ni execute Huwag man tayo laing condition nga gihatag. So, it's empty. Okay? So, that's for if statement. So, sa condition niya, ayok kalimta ng open and close parenthesis. After the open and close parenthesis, inyong butangan o bracket. Okay? Para sa iyahong output. Kaya nagkalimta ha, kay kung later on. Nara ko ihatag nga tip later on. Okay, so next we have the if else statement. So it handles two conditional expressions. It's either does the first code block or the second code block. So which means kani dua na nika condition. If imong gradong gi input is 75, yung iprint is your pass. Wow, that's the first condition. Pero, if ang imong gi-input nga grado is less than 75, then the second condition is, you are failed. Okay? So, in if else, dua iyahong condition. While in if, usara iyahong condition. Or, if failed mang gani, if false mang gani ang nas condition, wala siya imahatag nga output. Wala siya ma-execute nga output. Kay false man siya. Diba? So, if this one will get false, dili, wala siya yung ma-execute. Okay, kani siya, always true rani siya. Okay. But, in if else na ay true na ay false. If either true or false ang imuhong condition, if true or false ni siya, na ay siya ma-execute nga output. Okay, for example here. If condition, open and close, and then bracket for the condition, so, if your grade is, if grade is greater or equal to 75, dayon, isa man, if true ni siya, kani iyahong i-output. Or else, if false ni siya, kani iyahong i-output. Okay? So, we have here the practical example. So, if age is greater or equal to 18, then you are legal. Or else, you are not legal. Okay? If true ni nga condition, kani iya hong ipa, i-execute. If false ni nga, ni nga condition, then kani iya hong i-execute. 
I have here an example. So, the ba yang age is 12. The ba turn in dugangan. So, if age is greater equal to 18, then you are legal. So, sa may kulang, else di ba? Or else, pero, siya. Okay, kani nga bracket, kauban man siya, ani mo man niya, murag, and tag, ani nga bracket. So, ato rin butang ang direct else, and then, another bracket for else. Okay, or else, ato rin kopyahan ra, paste lang nato. You are not legal age. Uh, something like that. Okay. So, since 12 man atong in input dere. So, asa my yang output this one or this one? So, mini pinaka una and then second na code block. Then, pagrani ya yang top to bottom Japanese pagrana. So, we assign, assign this one that age is what equal to 12 atong gi assign nga si age 12 so if yang i read ni na first line kani nga next line na condition if true ba ni siya or false so does age or does 12 is greater or equal to 18 false man siya kaning else iya hong i execute if true ni siya kaning una ba so if atong yung i run then you are not legal because it's false but 82 then you are like it okay so that's for if else now i have your hands on first hands on so make an else if a statement according to the following conditions so we have here if grade is greater than or equal sorry with the con the spelling or equal to 75 then it print nga you are passed but if the grade is less than or equal to 75 then you print you are failed okay so this is for Hansen number one for Hansen number two um, make if else statement with the user input according to the following conditions so first one is the user allows to input any value of grades so you have to use the user input so i hope na remember pa tong scanner s is cause to new scanner system in then mag import mo sa taas og scanner atong import space util that scanner kato siya okay so kaning age so kanin siya dili na ni siya kay mag scanner man ta diba still remember mag import mag live scanner and then mag instantiate mo nga scanner s is equals to new scanner blah 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 and then kani di na nato yung butang value diba so may bahaton ani ni age kasi since mag input mong kaso katong s dot next kato siya int blah 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 okay so that's that clue I don't think so if clue ba to siya or ka guide <laughs> how to do the hands on number 2 and then, if the number you input here is through any condition, then print ni or else print that. So, here. So, after that, ang um, user mo mag input o value. So, if the grade is same mag yapan sa hands number 1, that if the grade is greater than or equal to 75, then print you are passed. Or, if the grade is less than or equal to 75, then print you are failed. So that's all for today. That's all for if and if else statement. So if you have any question, please raise your hand and ask your teacher. Thanks. Bye.